Okay YouTube, hello and welcome to another episode of Tom Voyage. You see we've got a cat friend here, look, helping us film. Today we've got one of these, it's the uh, pizza provisions box from Uni. Now these, the idea behind it is you get this supplied, it's got everything in it to make um, a pizza recipe, but we don't actually know what's in it. So today I'm going to unbox it and we're going to have a look what's inside. And so this was delivered to me uh, last night, um, so I've been eager to see what's inside and to uh, do this pizza recipe for you guys. It says fragile on the box, assuming there's something glass inside. Let's get it open and have a look. So we've got a little card, gives us um, some information about what's inside. Um, and then this one, this one actually shows everything that's on it, so we'll leave that to the end because we don't want any spoilers. It's all packaged very well, it's all in like a protective uh, cardboard sheath. So the first thing we come to is uh, some Caputo Blue. Uh, this is a proper pizza flour. Now I've, um, I've used this stuff before and it's really, really good actually. So that's, um, that's a kilogram of it there and it's, it's, I think it's fairly expensive this. Okay, next up. Okay, we've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Love a sun-dried tomato on a pizza. These look like tomatoes. Ah, yeah, so we've got these tomatoes. These are the uh, San Marzano tomatoes, arguably the best tomatoes for making pizza. So everyone seems to say, all the experts. Next up looks like some oil, Dylan's chili oil. Like the bottle as well on that one. The Dylan's chili oil. Oh yes. So this is Nduja, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's N-D-U-J-A. Uh, Nduja, this is like a spicy pork sausage. It really, really good on pizza. It's one of my personal favorites. Uh, can't wait to try this one. This is some candied jalapenos. I don't think I've ever had candied jalapenos before. Interesting. This looks like the last thing that's in the box. Hmm. Thyme and butternut squash dip. Not just for crisps. So maybe that's designed as like a dip for the pizza crust afterwards. Let's take a look at these instructions and see what it says. Okay, so we've got our ingredients unboxed. The recipe card that comes with it is for a broccoli and Anduja pizza. Uh, I said before I really like Anduja, I can't wait to try this recipe. Um, I'll post this recipe in the comment section below or in the description below. I'm gonna do a 12 to 14 hour prove on this, so these pizzas are gonna be ready for tomorrow night. Um, and we'll check back with you guys then.
So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of the Uni Pizza Provisions. I wanted to spend a couple of minutes now just giving my thoughts on it. First of all, the broccoli and Anduja pizza was a big hit. I really enjoyed it. Something I'd never think to put on pizza is broccoli, um, but it was a nice touch. Not sure it's my favourite pizza I've ever had, but it was nice to try something new. Another thing that I wanted to do was price up all these ingredients individually. The idea behind it is to see if you're getting a good deal getting these ingredients from Uni, or if you're better off buying them yourself. Now the first thing I'll say is they are quite hard to find. It took me quite a while to find all these ingredients individually online. Um, and this price for all of them I found was 23 pounds and 23 pence. Now that's excluding any delivery. Bear in mind these are all from different websites. So it may be that by the time you've paid for delivery on everything, you've paid for more than that anyway. Now the price I paid for the Uni Pizza Provisions box was 35.99. Now that was on a deal price. Uh, the usual price is $44.99, or I'm just checking here, is $39.99 if you were to subscribe to it. So as a summary then, I think this box is more about trying something new and the element of surprise rather than trying to save money on all of these ingredients. For example, these candied jalapenos, I would never have tried those normally, but I really, really enjoyed them. I'd recommend them to anyone who likes spicy food. Also, the Anduja was really, really good as well. It's, um, it's one of my favorites and I like it in a jar. It makes it easy to seal back up because it's quite oily. The other ingredient that I really liked was the thyme and butternut squash dip. This was great for dipping your crusts in afterwards. So that was my review. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's urged you to try the recipes and to maybe go for one of these boxes. So as always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, hit me up in the box below. Thanks very much.